This is the Keyway Superlight 125 after three months of ownership. Now you can see that I've added some hard plastic side panniers, still retaining the original saddlebag holders. Got a rear sissy bar and rack. Just need to get a rear rack for that. On this side, wrap the exhaust. So I've only got those bits there and that bit of chrome showing because winter's coming the wrap will protect the exhaust from salts on the road and up front as you can see I've added two extra sets of lights those were originally there but with these in the way I just had to move them so as you can see there's a big difference works really well I know that there's a bit of gap between those but that was just how it came out so unfortunately can't do much with that but it still looks good all works all wired in and functioning so they all work the main beam and the dip is all separate so these two are just running on the same circuit as that small bulb, same as the rear as well. Don't know if you can see, but working lights can wire those into the brake lights, but they're on the running lights. So whenever my running lights on, they're on as well. All I really need is just a last box there and then I'm all good to go but after three months of ownership still going good the only fault that I had found was with the brake every time I used it it wouldn't go off there is a small little if you can see in there when I depress that turns the light on and when it closes it turns the circuit off what I have found that that had moved slightly and had always kept the light on so just undid the screw there and on the other side pushed that as far in to the main mast cylinder as I could and that sorted out the problem so apart from that that was the only fault I had with the Keyway Superlight 125 after three months